My dear friends, here we are at a second Pesach that we did not expect. Uh, we are still in the middle of Corona. I think we all expected that by this Pesach, things would be back to normal. With God's help, hopefully we are getting closer. And soon, certainly uh, next Pesach, I am sure that I will not be saying the same thing. But uh, this is the holiday. It's a holiday about freedom. It's a holiday about recognizing not just that we're free. That's not enough. We have to also relive the bondage. We have to relive the exodus. And then we have to be able to be free. It's a three-part series. We have to first understand slavery, first understand limitation, then understand the concept of transition and how vital that moment of transition is. And then we can be free. And of course, Jewish freedom is not just freedom. Jewish freedom is a freedom for something. In our case, it's a freedom for Torah, a freedom to go from Passover to Mount Sinai, which is why we count the 50 days. Matzah, which is uh, for us the centerpiece of the Seder, has many different names, many different definitions. It's called, of course, Lechem Oni, the bread of affliction. But the Talmud says that the word lechem oni also means the bread of answering, the bread of speaking, the bread of communicating. Lechem she'onim alav devarim harbe, the lechem, the bread upon which we speak many words. And through speaking, I would argue, we achieve the freedom, which is the opposite of lechem oni, of the poor bread. Matzah, of course, is the bread of slavery. It's also the bread of freedom. It's the bread that we ate while we were slaves. It's the bread that we ate because we were in a rush to get out. But I think the transition uh, is achieved through lechem she'onim alav devarim harbei, that it is the bread upon which we speak. Uh, the Seder night is always called the time of dialogue. When your children will ask you, you'll answer them saying it's a time of communication. And of course, it's especially hard for us because we live at a time when during the coronavirus, we're communicating with fewer people, certainly in person, uh, we're interacting with fewer people, and that is hard. And so however you're having your Seder, whether it's uh, with two people, whether it's with four people, whether it's a pod, whether it's outside, whether it's alone, Maimonides famously says, even if you're alone, you have to ask the questions to yourself. You cannot forget dialogue. We cannot forget what it means to communicate, and that one day, hopefully very soon, we will be back communicating with everybody, dialoguing with, dialoguing with everybody, being together with everybody uh, as it used to be um, before this pandemic. Hopefully very quickly, uh, the pandemic will be over, uh, people's health will be restored, uh, and um, hopefully we will have learned something as a nation, as a world, as individuals from this uh, very difficult plague. Uh, indeed, this is a holiday of plagues, and um, the point is to learn from them and to go through an exodus. I want to wish everybody a Chag Sameach should have a happy holiday, uh, whether it is with lots of people, whether it is alone. Um, I wish you uh, the blessing to find the joy within Pesach, uh, the joy of language, the joy of communication, the joy of exodus, the joy of moving in transition from one place to a better place that's a more open place and less constricted. Chag Sameach, Shabbat Shalom.